Restart a Heart Day is about raising awareness and taking an opportunity to train and retrain in CPR. At Wellington Free Ambulance, it's our goal to make sure all our communities know how to do CPR. If someone has a sudden cardiac arrest, call 111 straight away and start CPR immediately. You'll know if they're in cardiac arrest because they'll be unconscious and they will not be breathing. The quicker you can engage, the greater the chance of their survival. We know that CPR works and we know that it saves lives. From all of us at Wellington Free Ambulance, thanks for getting involved in this Restart a Heart Day. A sudden cardiac arrest can happen to anyone at any time, which is why it's important that every New Zealander knows how to do CPR and how to use an AED. In fact, each week on average, four people suffer a cardiac arrest somewhere in the Greater Wellington and Wadded Upper region. To second what Andy just said, the best way to increase somebody's chance of survival is for everyone in our community to know how to do CPR. When combined with the use of an AED, survival rates can increase up to 80%. When doing CPR, your job is to do what the heart is not doing, beating for itself and pumping blood around the body. That is why you must keep going and not stop. Through our Heartbeat program, we're able to train schools, businesses and community groups to know what to do to help save a life. This year marks the 10 years since we started the Heartbeat program, and thanks to the generous support of the Lloyd Morrison Foundation, this training is totally free throughout Wellington and Wairarapa, just like our service. Over the years, we've managed to train over 50,000 people how to do CPR, a number that continues to grow each day. Our goal is to empower bystanders to help save a life in the event of a sudden cardiac arrest. That's enough from me, over to you Brendan. Thanks Kate. I'm now going to talk you through how to do CPR. We use the doctor's ABCD approach. So we're going to start with D for danger. First you want to make sure that there's no danger to yourself, the patient or any bystanders. R is for response. So we want to check a response from our patient. So we'll start by talking to them. Hello, can you open your eyes? Can you hear me? If that doesn't work, we want to elicit a response. We'll do so by gently shaking and asking them to open their eyes. S is for send for help. So you want to call 111 and ask for an ambulance. Also remember to ask somebody to seek your nearest AED when you're calling for help. A is for airway. We want to open the patient's airway and check for any obstructions or anything that could be occluding their airway. We'll do so by placing one hand on the patient's forehead and one hand under the chin and lifting their airway open whilst having a look inside to make sure that there's no obvious obstruction of the airway. B is for breathing. Next we want to check if our patient is breathing. We're going to do that by look, listening and feeling for any breaths for up to 10 seconds but no longer. C is for compressions. We want to make sure that we remove clothing from the upper body. Place your hands in the centre of the chest, one on top of the other, and compress continuously until further help arrives. For a child, your compressions are exactly the same as an adult, except you're going to use one hand. So you're going to find the centre of the chest and compress continuously with one hand. For an infant, we're going to do the same with our depth being one third of the, the chest depth and we're going to use two fingers in the centre of the chest. So between the nipple lines is the centre of the chest and we're going to compress continuously there. Alternatively, you can use your thumbs. One thumb over the other and compress in the centre of the chest. Don't worry if you don't recall all of that. When you call 111, our emergency medical call takers will talk you through this process. Over to you, Caitlin. Thanks, Brendan. When you call 111, you'll be transferred to one of our emergency medical call takers. We will then ask you for your address. Please remember to give us the exact address so that we can get help to you as quickly as possible. Our call takers will also ask you what has happened. If the patient is not awake and not breathing, we will guide you through CPR. 
and we will count the chest compressions with you, so you are not alone. We will stay on the phone with you until a paramedics or a first responder arrives. It is important that you carefully listen to our instructions so that we can help the patient together. And don't worry, an ambulance is already on the way. Kia ora koutou, my name is Olivia. My mum works for Wellington Free Ambulance and this is what she's taught me to do in an emergency. If you see someone who needs help, she said to, number one, call 111 and ask for an ambulance. Tell them where you are. It's important that you know your address just in case an emergency happens at home. Number two, find another adult who can help you but make sure you stay on the phone. Number three, listen to the person on the phone. They will tell you what to do and you might be able to help by doing CPR. That's awesome. Well done, Olivia. Back to you, Kate. A sudden cardiac arrest can happen to anyone at any time, which is why it's vitally important every New Zealander knows how to do CPR and use an AED. Thank you for joining us this Restart a Heart Day. By knowing these crucial skills, especially CPR, you can help save a life and add much needed support to the emergency services in a cardiac arrest. Kia ora from all of us at Wellington Free Ambulance. Kia ora.